You made it. Sometimes you'll have to push a button or pull a lever to continue. Everything you see here is powered by redstone. Redstone can be found as ore deep underground. You'll need an iron pick or better to mine it. Redstone can be used for so many things like doors, automatic farming systems, and even combination locks. Heck, even the animated characters right here in the mine are powered by redstone. Generally, components next to redstone and blocks powered by redstone will activate. Check out the redstone lamps that turn on when the block of redstone is next to them or when they're powered by the redstone dust. You can even do stuff like ejecting players from minecarts with redstone. Now you see what power there is with redstone, step on the pressure plate sitting on the blocks of gold and you're ready to begin the basics. Welcome to Jig's Guide, Redstone Basics. My name's Jigarbov and I'll be your guide. To begin your learning, head to the start posters and get yourself a minecart. Sit in it and then press the button. Now the real fun begins. You unlock the basics. Head in there and learn how to use and play with redstone power. These are pressure plates. When you stand on them, they emit redstone power and can activate redstone components like doors. For the sake of this tutorial, you can only you place them it. on blocks Whenever of gold. Whenever you see a block of Try gold, put pressure a pressure plate right on it and see what it they does. They also power blocks themselves. Here you can see their range of power. Blocks adjacent to the powered block also have a range of power. Wait, Any component in this combined opening? range will be the powered as you can see with the redstone dust, lamp, which transmits climb up the power and step to on the, the pressure door. plate to see. I'm going to give you some levers now. For the sake of the tutorial, these can only be placed on blocks of diamond. Unlike the pressure stuff? plates, you now can you're turn getting some redstone dust. Leave this on. can only be placed on red wool. Let's see if you can get through the door. Good idea, placing the lever sure, on the block of diamond. this will open the door. Now all you have to but do you probably is can't make a circuit. the door in time because it deactivates once you step off it. This is the furthest that redstone dust can transmit full power without extra components. 15 blocks will only just make it to power the lamp at the end. Since the length of redstone dust is 16 here, it's too long to power the lamp. So you know that redstone power can only travel 15 blocks using redstone dust. That little grey thing right there is called a repeater. It will boost the power back up to 15 and allow it to transmit even further. Count it up. Using repeaters, the power traveled over 40 blocks. Notice how long it took for the power to travel through all the repeaters? 
They can be adjusted to increase this the delay of the power repeater's boosted power back up to 15 strength each time. But of course, repeaters can only repeat if they take in a power level of at least 1. Blocks of redstone transmit a constant power stream. They can never be turned off, so you Blocks don't have to worry about the door two closing. Categories. Most opaque blocks are able to transmit power, whereas non-opaque blocks will not. Of course there are exceptions. Try them all out or look in the test rooms for more examples later. Each line of repeaters is set to a different delay. See how the lamp lights up at different speeds? This is a piston. When powered, it will extend, which pushes the block of redstone and then completes the circuit. Pistons are unique in that they can draw power from redstone dust running next to them. Most components need the power to be pointed at them or at a block attached to them. Now you're getting some redstone torches. For the sake of the tutorial, these can only be placed on blocks of iron. Redstone torches are similar to blocks of redstone in that they are usually powered. Pistons Unless you will power extend the automatically they if they are pushed to, against other off. power sources. No matter how much you try, or how fast you trigger them, once a block is attached, this is a sticky unless piston. you use another piston, you can tell the difference because it has slime it on it. Will always be attached. Sticky pistons can push regular and pistons blocks. push blocks, but after that, they can't do anything with them. Here you can see when a redstone torch is sitting on a block that gets powered, it will become Using unpowered. Using the unique properties of redstone torches, true. you can create a chain back reaction off the pressure of plate, turning it will turn on, back on and off as the power goes through the circuit.
This orientation of redstone components is put together in a certain way. In order to get through the door, you must power both redstone torches. This will turn both off, which will allow the final torch to turn on. This orientation of redstone components is commonly called an AND gate because you'll need to power one side and the other to turn the middle torch on. That's it for the basics. The next room will test your knowledge and give you the key to unlock the test rooms and free build. Good luck! Congratulations! Take a block of redstone and put it on the block of emerald back at the main hub. Welcome to Jig's Guide, Redstone Basics. My name's Jigarbov, and I'll be your guide. To begin your learning, head to the start posters and get yourself a minecart. Sit in it, and then press the button. Nice. In the test rooms you'll find every component in Minecraft and a room with different examples on how to use them. The free build has many of the circuits you have already seen in this map and tells you how they work. You can also change your game mode out there for some real freedom.